Hello, my name is Peter Levin, storage architect for Netgear Ready Data. Today we're going to take a quick look at how Ready Data Replicate simplifies disaster recovery for SMB. With Ready Data Replicate, we simply register all our devices into the online portal. The online portal gives us one view to all our storage devices where we can manage our replication for disaster recovery. So from there we can configure local area network replication that happens in real time between two devices in a private network, or we can configure replication between two devices that are separated by the internet. For example, this device might be in San Jose and this device might be in Sydney. So now we're going to jump into the lab and take a look at how we configure this. I have two systems on the same secure local area network, uh, one named San Jose and one named Sydney in the other tab there. I have uh, some shares and some iSCSI LUNs. Now in this case I have a, sh a share called Files which happens to have about 6 gig worth of data and three existing snapshots for inbuilt protection. Um, what I'll do is I'll just connect to that share first so you can see it. So it's San Jose files. There it is. So that's about uh, six gig worth of data on that particular share. Now I have the inbuilt snapshots which offer me protection but uh, I also want to get some off-site protection for disaster recovery. So really what I want to do is I want to replicate to this second system, Sydney. So how I do that is I go to our cloud management portal, readydata.netgear.com, and in there I register my devices. So you can see here are the two devices, San Jose and Sydney. What I'll do now is I'll configure a constant replication job between the devices. Now I'm doing the configuration from the cloud portal, but actually the, the replication will happen on the same local area network because these devices are in the same local area network. So I click Continuous Replicate. I give the job a name, so I'm going to call this Protect Files. I select the source system I want to replicate from, so in this case it's San Jose. And the share files. I could have just as easily selected one of my iSCSI LUNs. I select the destination Sydney, which is the secondary system and the volume in which I want to replicate to, vol1. I click next. I then get to choose the name of the replicated share, so in this case it'll be called rep underscore files. I can enable compression, encryption and deduplication in my replication. Now I'm going to leave this disabled because like I said before, these two devices are on the same network. If it was going over the internet however, I would probably enable these options and then I click apply to create the job. Now it takes about 10-20 seconds for the job to get created. Once the job is created it will actually start straight away because this is a constant replication job that we've set up here. So this will constantly move data from one device to the other. So you can see the job starts straight away, it's calculating, it's doing the initial sync, uh, if I quickly jump over to Sydney, the secondary device, and I refresh, you'll see there's a share now called Rep Files, and already 700 megabytes has been transferred. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give myself access to this remote share or this secondary share so we can see it populate with data. So I'm just going to go to the advanced options here. I'm going to add domain users read write access so we can take a look and I'm going to enable uh, SMB or SIFS so in the meantime uh, already 4.3 gig of data has been transferred but I'm going to connect to Sydney now rep underscore files which as we know is the secondary copy of my data and as you can see it's it's already populating so at, at the moment we're replicating the data from, from San Jose files to Sydney rep underscore files using our constant replication process.
So this is pretty close to up to date now. Let me just refresh the secondary device and you can see it's a complete mirror between the two devices. What you'll also notice is not only do we replicate the data, but we also replicate the snapshots. So it'll take a few seconds here, but you'll notice, there you go, three snapshots offering two hours protection. So we've now successfully created a relationship between two, two ready data devices on a private network, and we're replicating both the files and the snapshots from one to the other constantly. And when we say constant replication, we use block tracking, so as data changes, it will go from one to the other. So let me just demonstrate how that works. If I create a file here, call it important, I go over to the secretary device, I just refresh the view, and the file arrived even before we re refresh the view. I can add some data into the file. Now, this will work with any type of data. It's completely agnostic. So this will work with VMware, Hyper-V, iSCSI, file data, any data you like, because we, we do a very low level block tracking to replicate data from one device to the other. Let me just refresh this view again. And there's my data. So, as you can see, constant replication between devices is very easy to configure with our cloud portal. Whether you want to replicate over the internet or to, to be between two devices in the same network, the process is simple.